Hi everyone, Mike Mui here. Today I'm going to take a look at a Kickstarter project which piqued my interest. This is a Kickstarter project which means that there's always some inherent risk involved. Uh, this is not a complete 100% guarantee. Don't treat this like you are going to be ordering it and getting it soon or when they say they're going to give it because a lot of things can happen. All right, with that out of the way, I have backed a lot of Kickstarter projects. I've helped defend a lot of uh, projects to come to life and fruition. Uh, it's got to be, I mean, I'm a super backer, so I, I don't know exactly how many I've backed, but out of all the ones that I've done, I've had two that have been complete failures and ones were uh, where the creators just made off with everyone's money. So with that out of the way, uh, let's talk about this top shelf. It's a super fast all access camera bag. And I really like the idea of this. I've been waiting for someone to come out with something like this for a while and looks like it's here. So it's a super fast full access camera bag, not unlike what I had originally tried with uh, Mindshift Gear or Think Tank Photo. They used to have a bag called the Rotation 360. I had the first generation of the bag. It's worked out well for me. It's a little bit long on the tooth now because it's kind of small, uh, but it did work. It's very solid and they have a lifetime guarantee. Now, this is something that I wish that Mindshift Photo and Think Tank Photo had come out with, but Bevis Gear came out with this first. Now, some key things about this. As you can see in this little video clip, it's super. once you get the hang of it, it looks like you can just flip it over, grab your bag, open it up, and shoot within a second or two. Okay, two, three seconds. You still got a power on your camera to start shooting. Etc. It claims that if you have, if you are super good in practice in this, you can technically open up your bag and access all your gear in 1.1 seconds. I believe that is something that they timed. So that is way quicker than just about any other bag and, and looks like it's also more secure in terms of, of opening it up, grabbing your stuff, and uh, at the same time not dropping anything from your bag because that's, that's a scary thing. That's something that's happened a lot when I'm out. I open up my, my bag. I think things are secured and I go to grab something. Something else falls out. Lose lens cap, lose, uh, you know, worst cases, you drop your camera with a super expensive lens. Now, what the key to whole, this whole thing is that they have this locking mechanism, which I'll show you right here. Um, here we go. Let's see this. Okay. This mechanism right here. This is a lock which they claim is from racing cars. All right, so in order to have quick access, there's a one click press that unlocks the thing. It's pretty ingenious. I like that about it. And then of course you have the whole rigid back panel which keeps everything nice and solid. And on top of that, when you are sure that you are not going to, like let's say you're transporting gear from A to B, you wanna make sure that nothing big or small comes out. There's also a whole zipper that goes all the way around the bag itself, which prevents just about everything from backing, uh, from dropping or coming out. All right. So the whole key to this is that one little quick strap and this handle that you can pull open. Now, I like the idea of this is because there are some other bags that actually have somewhat similar support mechanism, but nothing as like quick and solid and secure as this is or this claims to be at least at least from these videos so that's that's basically the key draw here and um, they also show you some examples of someone actually using it as a little shelf or rack if you will with a laptop which is super useful now especially since uh, you aren't able I mean you got to socially distance in most places they remove uh, tables and chairs just about everywhere because they don't want people to gather. So this gives you the option to actually organize things while you're standing with a flat surface on. And I find that personally very uh, helpful, particularly if I'm out with a laptop or, or a tablet or something with, with no place to put things down. Now, the big question in all this, you see there's also a nice quick, quick access side panel, which is good, but obviously not as quick as when you... Uh, have it flipped over in, in shelf component mode. The big question that I have here is in terms of the quality, it looks to be okay, all right? And then the comfort, which does not look to be as strong 
as good as something like Mindshift Gear has. Now I'm just looking at these pictures and I'm just making some guesses here. I wish I actually sent out some samples for people to check out so that uh, you can get some real world, uh, real world reviews, even if it's a beta product, about how the product is and, and how it performs. They do have YKK zippers, which means, you know, it's basically industry standard, some of the best uh, in the world. They support a 16 inch padded laptop sleeve here, basically the MacBook, basically what used to be 15 inch laptops uh, from Apple, now 16 inches. You got the standard customizable Velcro dividers. Um, and then here's an example of a tabletop setup. This is something exactly similar to the way that I would use it as well. So it definitely helps to stabilize. Now you can choose whether or not you want to use in sling mode, which basically moves a strap over to the other side or backpack mode. Again, my concern here is the comfort. I don't know. I can't tell from this picture or these examples just how comfortable a bag like this will be on your back. As if it's not comfortable, I guarantee you I'm not going to take it out. I'm not going to use it. And it's just going to be a complete waste. All right. So there's a sling mode that shows you over here, which basically, I guess the patent is just sliding this thing on the other side. Um, I don't know if you need a patent for that. It doesn't look as super cool as you would expect. It just looks like all you, they did was just flip it around. Uh, maybe they could use some manners or something, but um, doesn't mention anything like that. And then the backpack mode. Now notice down here, there is not an additional waist thing to go around. Okay. That could matter if you were hiking far. So this is not something that you're going to go out, go in the backcountry woods and uh, feel great after. But you see the bag seems kind of small on this nice big gentleman. So maybe that is not too much of an issue. My problem would definitely be, um, you know, what in you know, what use cases would this work best for me? Anyway, now that I'm uh, you know, clo getting close to my mid 40s, my back is not as good as it was when I was young and carrying around 30, 40 pounds of uh, camera gear and glass just, just on a general weekend. So, all right. So let's see how much this all costs. What's the damage? It looks like they still have super early bird available. They are all backed and ready to go and funded. They only asked for 7,917. There appears to be, let's see, it's 241. That's about $241 plus also shipping. And of course, it only shipped to certain countries. There's a few that in note that it will not uh, ship to. So it's three hundred four dollars Canadian. You have the you have the trans. You got to um, translate that to whatever currency that you are using. But this looks intriguing. I think that I'd be more interested in a version two of this bag because I have so many bags already, and I think I'll just have to do a little bit of wait and see in this. But if you are still interested in backing this, I did sign up to be an affiliate to just to talk about um, gear and stuff on Kick Booster, uh, Kickstarter through Kickbooster. Please check out my link down below. I think you still have, let's see how much time we have here. I think this is going to be over soon because that's when I got a notice. Oh yeah, still have 34 hours to go. So roughly one day by the time this video uh, posts or get out to you. But it looks like you can definitely fit a lot of gear. The question is, I'm probably not going to want to carry any of this. And yeah, why not? Why not have more? Why not have more straps down there? Um, I mean, a strap. Okay, they've lowered international shipping rates. Why not have a strap around the waist just to help a little bit uh, with the carrying? Let's see what some comments are. Shipping in the U.S. to shipping from Canada. Yada yada yada. The two French straps are mostly cosmetic. Uh -huh. They can actually the luggage pass. All right, great concept. I wish them the best. I hope the second version. I hope they improve on uh, all the things with the comments on the second version because typically by the time the uh, the campaign is out they're just about ready for production let's see where they are on the timeline do they provide a timeline mm, meet the team
fucking press kit. No, let's see. Manufacturers lined up, quality insurance people on site. Okay. Well, I am hoping that they get this manufactured over in Vietnam, not China. Mostly because I know a lot of quality uh, manufacturers happen to be in Vietnam. It's a little bit more risky in China. All right. Well, that those are my thoughts about the top shelf bag. If uh, I do manage to get my hands on one of these, I will do a review. And if not, uh, if someone does get this one, and I'm really curious what you think about it, obviously I'm going to look on the YouTubes for some of your reviews. But if you have a quick take on it, I'd really appreciate if you would comment down below. All right. Thanks for watching. That's it for this video. Please give a like, subscribe for more. Catch you next one. Thanks for watching.